Welcome to my next video. Today I have the Holly Stone. It's an HS290 drone. It's got a three speed mode, it's optical flow positioning, 360 flip, one key surround. We'll go through, through some of the stats and then we'll open it up, see what's inside. It's got an operating frequency of 2452 to 2474 megahertz. Battery type, three AAA batteries, not included with the order. Uh, max flight distance is 228 feet or 100 meters. Uh, operating temperature, 32 to 104 Fahrenheit, that's zero to 40 centigrade. The camera, Camera frequency is 2417 megahertz. Video resolution 1920 to 1080p, 25 foot per second. Control range 90 degrees to zero degrees. Um, the video format is MP4. Photo resolution 1920 to 1080p. Maximum transmission distance. 64 feet or 50 meters. Photo format, JPEG. The weight is 128 grams or 4.5 ounces. Maximum flight time, 12 minutes. Maximum flight height, 98 feet or 30 meters. Uh, the size, unfolded, 275 by 217 by 52 millimeters. Uh, the battery drone is a 3 volt battery type is lithium ion polymer battery and charge time is about 90 minutes so we'll go ahead we'll open it up and see what's inside Yeah, it comes in a nice case. That's nice. Awesome. What do we have on the top? Caution of batteries. Just caution. Just like all drones. Got to be careful with the batteries. Don't want them to overheat. Disclaimer and safety guidelines. Tells you everything about our drones, but you should uh, definitely read through it before you go flying in places you shouldn't fly or fly it the way you shouldn't fly it. And a nice manual. Oh, looks like it covers every aspect. If you've never flown a drone before, this will come in quite handy. Tell you everything about hooking, hooking to the Wi-Fi. We're getting everything hooked up and ready to go. And what else we got in the old top here? Looks like I think this is yes. This will be your charge cable. And I think, yeah, you got a spare set of wings. Tool to change your wings, or your propellers. Very good. And in here. Oh. Nice battery. We got two of these. That's always good because once you you don't want to just get something going flying and then all of a sudden boom you got no power. So you can switch them out easy. And then you use your rechargeable cord, USB port, and you can charge up your batteries. The drone itself. 
Okay, to unfold the arms, simple process, just do the top first, then the bottom, and away you go. Very straightforward. Nice, got a nice camera, lights. It's light. The good thing about being light, I think 250 grams, you got to have all kinds of uh, registration and stuff for your drone in Canada anyway. But if it's under that, you don't have to worry about it. That's the drone itself. And the controller. Yes, you got your antennas. Always got to have them up better for reception. And you flip up your controller and you can put in your smartphone. And you'll download an app like most drones nowadays and uh, control it through your app on your phone. Joysticks permanently mounted, which is good. Yeah, so I'll get it all hooked up and ready to go and then we'll take it for a flight. See how it handles. On the controller you can place on this paper instruction manual. It tells what all the buttons are for. You don't leave it on obviously. But you can put it on so you know uh, what everything's for. And also on the back has instructions. And once you have it all figured out, confident, you don't need it. Away you go. Once the battery is fully charged, you just slide it in the back. You can see a tab, a notch. Click straight in. And that's how you put in the battery. Okay, the controller itself takes three AAA batteries. You just take the screw out pops open, insert your batteries the proper way. Shows you positive and negative. Just make sure you put them in the right way. Cover back on and then insert your screw. Downloaded your um, app for the drone. Remember simply go to your manual. Top QR code is for the tutorial video which you should watch before you operate the drone. Tells you a lot about the drone, how to operate it in the system. And then you download your app with the appropriate QR code depending on your phone. So we have it downloaded. Open up the app. Proceed. And the app is open. And then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so we'll turn on the drone, press the power button, make sure you're on a flat surface, and then you turn on your transmitter, power button, power on the drone, power on the transmitter, auto pairing. When the transmitter and the drone have successfully paired and the indicator lights on both the drone and the transmitter become steady. Okay, so both lights are steady, should be paired. Now you gotta set the Wi-Fi configuration. Uh, so go to your Wi-Fi setting on the phone, connect the phone, drone, Wi-Fi network, Holly Stone, FPV. So you get them connected through the Wi-Fi. Yeah, so once you go to your Wi-Fi connection, you'll see an option for Holly Stone FPV 471365. Just hit her and then it'll connect to the drone Wi-Fi. And once that's set up, you can go on to your next step. Okay, you can see I'm connected with the drone Wi-Fi. You can see the camera picking up, but I don't want to proceed any further in here because you don't want to fly a drone inside your office. 
or inside your home. So we'll go outside. Okay, now we're on a nice flat surface. And first you gotta calibrate the um, gyro. To do that, joysticks both down to the left. You'll see lights flash on the drone. You calibrate it. And simultaneously push the left joystick to the bottom and the right joystick um, to the bottom left corner. And this is to unlock the motors. So you can just read out right through the, the manual and it just explains exactly what you need to do. It's not very difficult. Unlock the motors. Yeah, like I can say joystick to the on the left goes down to the right, and the joystick on the right goes down to the left simultaneously. Unlocks the motors. And you're getting ready for your first flight. To take off, simply press the button with the arrow up and down to the right, and the drone should rise to five feet and hover. There we go. And it is flying. You can see a nice clear picture. I don't know, with the sun there, you might not. But yeah, very nice picture on there. Now you can take snapshots or photo. I'm going to try and do a few maneuvers here. It rotates. Hit it again and it stops. Let's move it away a bit. You can use the joystick too, left, right. And let's go up a bit. Down. Joystick forward on the left, and you go up. Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, just try and get her closer to the ground before you hit the down or land button. And she's good to go. Very sturdy. So just some of the controls again on the controller. Power button, take off, land, time, trim, joystick, forward, backward, left, right. So very straightforward. Once you get to use it, catch on quite quickly you can also hit your controls right on your on the app itself we're just looking down at the concrete but uh, you know you take a picture turn on the video you can set where you want it to go like in a complete circle and just go up and and travel it'll do that power button on the front, have our antennas, obviously. And here's your controller to raise and lower the camera. And take a picture and hold it on the camera side. Just hold it for a few seconds, it'll start recording. You have your flip button, rotate, automatically just rotate around and Take a 360, and that's about does it. Nice little drone, very affordable. If you think there's something you're interested, there'll be links in the description. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in for my next video.